veto. And when I said previously the veto's front loaded for a cent, <laughs> that was the one that should have been comfortable. So in terms of expectations, we're already kind of off kilter here. So it's going to be interesting, again, starting on the attacking side. I mean, last time Victor didn't necessarily struggle to really find value, but the number of times allowed we're actually effectively able to deal with him. Mm -hmm. Some of the best highlights were actually some of these setups where Loud had the perfect reads and they knew at what time of the round that was going to happen. They absolutely bossed the middle round. This is where we find out, was it a bad performance from Optic, an off day before, and you find the validity in the answer of, you know, was this now Loud fully answering them, fully understanding what makes Optic great on this map, or you know, can Loud do that again? Has it been evolution? So many more questions coming into this. We look towards the attacking side here, and it's Optic starting out. But can't help but glance towards the defending side of Loud, already exploring a little towards short. Pop flash, and popping a flash in towards showers, noting nothing so far. Marv actually positioned outside and on the back of that sound cue. Both him and FNS will peel away from this. An early progress for Ye and Crashies here. There's only one member. Less has been left to try and anchor on B site here and they haven't really progressed anywhere else on the map. No real confirmed information elsewhere. First contact made, noting Ye and the follow-up. So you're now going to know at least two players towards Long, so he's got to try and play his life. Already Ye's going to backfill that space, though. Take all that elbow control away, force him towards CT. This is a full-on retake, 5v5. Spike planted. Now, actually, look, Optic looked to push even further through. Crashies will find less, and that's an early kill to concede in this retake. Nobody else even really set up close enough to capitalize on that contact. Now I'm looking towards maybe the pressure that's going to come in from Hooker. Victor does need to readjust towards Tube, down to 73 HP, but there's been time now, and Sassy just finds Victor. Yay, overextends towards CT, and the punish on the timing here. They've actually carved space for themselves. And timing, they've still got to get a little bit of a wiggle on here, but the fight towards CT, CT is found, and now Mark, oh, what? Mark no gets way. three from Elbow, the rest of his team crumbled around him, and Marv still delivers. What an insane turnaround on that for the Red Bull Clutch. Just when it all looked going so well for Loud. Even find this first one. Beautifully done. Surgical precision from Marv. You can see, yeah. Because the retake until that point looked un. Believably, uh, I on mean, Optic point. were crumbling ahead of that. It, you know, the burst. Hang on, though. Loud have actually forced back into this. Get out of here. Well, we've got stingers coming out. We've got no armor behind it, though. So it's purely stingers with a little bit of utility. And that's about it. This, I mean, this could get dampen the next yeah. purchase, though. What can they achieve off this? Let's, let's see. And first contact found nice. in the success. Sarsi's already got it. Yeah, he's dead. And now, if you're Optic, you're not expecting this! And there's more damage! Loud and making it count! Flipping the script here in round two. Marv left to pick up the pieces here on short. The flash actually should just catch him, so noting presence there. Crashes on the other side, nothing to act upon. Launching smoke. Oh, that's it. Still got two towards long here. I mean, Sassy's got the upgrade. Really, this rotation coming through from Les, but he's only got a frenzy in hand. Sadak wisely respecting this. Ooh. Thought he was going to sit a little bit deeper towards CT, but actually, Mount wants to provide almost more. Maybe down. dig him out of this hole they're sitting in towards getting up you close go. and fast. Oh, to the stingers, the fans! Absolutely tearing into them, and he has at least given them a 1v2, right? Like he's done the best Thank he could, God potentially. This flash could be crucial. Okay. Confirms his attendance, spots one towards heaven. He now notes both the players. He wants the fight towards heaven and he gets it. And now looks towards the follow up. Pancada creeping closer and the pop flash has to be good. He's called him. A little bit of a turn though. Pancada's got the gun back out. He's ready to fight on this. Attack on the spike at the bush. He sprays him wildly and crashes. Could not care. Damage achieved though, Mike. Four will fall for Optic with his back to back Red Bull clutches. Crashes and marved. Getting Optic on the board here to start bind. Again, with that Stinger purchase coming through, we'll see what the gaps now within this purchase. Fantastic opener, actually. Even to flip this back, for 2v4, actually. And that's with Marv getting hyper-aggressive with that smoke. Live from the Hex quarters. 
the watch party all lined up. Seeing here that yeah, there are gaps here. Some utility missing. Sassy had to go offset this now with the ultimate being available. Crashes on the other side will grab the orb in showers. Marv Dassey has the orbital strike online. Very early on here for round three. Could be key in a post plant scenario here as well. They can get themselves there. That's it. Look how gets far, ahead of it. Look how far he progressed. That to me was such a surprising factor that no one had noticed it until now. That same to be said for Aspas. No, no one towards it, but the trade comes in. So position now removed, a bit of a one and done. Now what remains is well less. Still connecting, but the trade's still coming. They're really fighting for the site. Now, plant comes in, Optic should be able to get in towards a decent post plant. See how far those seekers go. They know they've got a little bit of time to work on this now. Rifle may be posted, but shouldn't actually catch anybody here, so. Somewhat telling in itself, but I'm gonna give away the full picture. Yay posted on the angle. Ooh, the timing! He gets to look back, but Pancala picked up his teammate. Another 1v2. Trying to slip the net here, fall away towards the site and play the timing, but already on the site is Sarsi. Sitting pretty, Pancada's on five. This is the kill, he turns! Oh he my gets god! Back in time! Dips around, the movement's gorgeous, and Pancada is just hemorrhaging blood. He's got to get out of there. That's more than enough done for Ye. Big round for Optic. Just when you think Sassy's going to catch the god timing and find that kill, Ye flicks back onto him. Another Red Bull clutch. How many we had so far? There's been three rounds. Right. There's been three clutches. Sounds good to me. Coming right down to the wire here. Remaining. I like the Pancada even survives this here. So right, what a readjustment. I mean, you just never have an advantageous engagement with Ye. Apparently like, not. if he's got a gun in his hand. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't put a, kn a knife past him at this point. Anything else. It's, it's just, it seems like he's far too good at this game with everything. Um, and now we're going to see the knock-on effect of the money being um, shredded. It's, it's been left intact. What? Yes? Sorry. Why is their stinger so much better than mine? And we talked about this last time. That, that's Victor, though. They've isolated him so early on. The flash didn't even catch. Yeah. Yeah, he... <laughs> he smells something. There's something wrong in the showers, <laughs> man. It, it ain't looking right. I think he was actually spamming on the core of the wall. Actually, look at this though. Oh, Optic re-aggressing back. back onto Hookah. Yeah, double back into this with a little bit of presence shown One and a beautiful remaining. shot towards CT. Ye's patience pays. That's pass goes. And this buy that wasn't meant to be much, to be fair for Loud, did do a little bit of that initial damage on Victor, but it does seem as though, again, we're seeing that composure from Optic. This is what you want to be seeing though. Keep control of these early moments, these early rounds, because you know that Loud have that capability to go late game and the flash. The flash caught Sadak. And the spike's going to immediately make his way towards B. I mean, FNS already got tons of space to work with. Marv gets even deeper. The Sadak, he's reading it. He knows. Ye is somewhere. Spike planted. Lurking back over towards A site. And Ye's got the info now. You just don't love the idea that this man is anywhere near you, just <laughs> lingering around. The killer in the shower. And Optic makes it four. I, uh, Gotta say, so far so good, but I still feel like we haven't seen Loud on that full comfortable purchase yet. We're still waiting for all the other, uh, I guess, essentials to fall into place. Let's actually look at that statistic as well. Talking about it being a strong Mac for Optic. Loud undefeated on Bind across stage two and champions, five and oh. Obviously noting that previous matchup as well. They have to answer back here. We've seen glimmers of getting a little proactive. We'll see with the previous catching Victor off. Well, not now, actually Optic going to adjust away from that. Bit of info early on here from Sadak. Well, no long presence towards Fountain. Slight adjustment here to be less. Looking to just anchor from that hookah position. What a different tempo already. See now with the Scoreline benefit, Optic can slip back into that more methodical approach. Late probe sent out here towards showers. And expect either Ye or Marv to be tucked up there time and time again. But no confirmed information on the setup just yet. No. Victor once again left to his own devices. The flash will actually not find him. 
did not give away that he was here, so might be able to find some value from this lurk eventually, but no real deep kind steps towards the side yeah, yet. Post posturing on short here and looking down. to get back behind that well, denial of information from Victor. Leave FNS in a position here, but it's only 25 seconds. They actually resort back towards a site. Do they clear him in time? Do they even use close utility on this? Aspas is ahead of it, and he pulls the trigger on the first. Takes out Crash, he's back out of his side. He's doing so much damage. 10 seconds now. Yeah, he's out though, unleashed. And now with 10 seconds, they gotta get the pawn. Can anything deny it? The ult gets popped, and they need to get the site under control. Damage achieved for seconds. Yay! Gonna just try and get that pawn down. The spray goes a little wide, but that one connects. And now just the one man, and it's Sadak this time. Find Jay and finds the round. And they get themselves on the board. And just when the Vipers bit comes out there, you think Optic are gonna be able to set up a stranglehold behind that plant. FNS looking to slip out. Just take advantage of that timing. Catch a kill when it's seemingly Sadak solo here. A beautiful pinch. And Ye actually noted very early on as well. There's just too much happening elsewhere. Optic can't recover, can't act upon that information. That's just the first. Ultimate's coming online now for Loud. Seekers, Orbital Strike, Viper's Pit of their own. Actually, potential here for Les to throw that down in Hooker again, but Optic uh, switching things up a little bit. You want to play? Their early Let's round position. No default spread. Has three towards showers now. Fight the Much different. Now yeah, he's on the Tour de Force. But this close play now for a second time, but Pancard is the one to succeed towards showers. And that's a perfect follow-up. Aspas is a real nuisance at the moment. I love this close hold, and it's gonna force Optic to be absolutely on their toes at all times. Pop flash through from showers, finds nothing. Crashy's just trying to forge any sort of steps ahead. Just cash towards CT, but he's so surrounded here, slowly being closed in on by less. Follow-up position seen. And there it is, closed down, but Loud becoming really well equipped with dealing with this hit from Optic. Yeah, and that's actually Optic completely switching up the pace as well. Said, huge kill from Pancada, and to slip away and confirm that information behind that first blood. Allowed Optic to set up, and yeah, actually looking to just get that backstab on Pancada. The credit to Aspas there, the contingency in place for that A site hold. What can Loud do with this now? Two strung together. Slight investment here from Optic. Guardian, oh, there's a rifle, a judge for Victor. Well, he's gonna look to double satchel in here, try and find a kill, and yes, gotta be careful, I was gonna say, with that Viper's bit being thrown down. Straight in. Victor gets ahead of it. Yeah, Victor's this is huge. closed through, kind of the spray behind, trying to sell a tail, but did, it looks like Les is considering, I wonder if he's seen this. He didn't get noted with the Trailblazer. He actually did not. Still getting away with it. I feel like they're so aware of the possibility. Now 100% sure. Is it so much Whoa. danger? Six HP, he can't get away. Yeah, he spams the one to silence him. Now Pancada, Sadak, and Aspas in danger. And they try and re-explore their options and Optica having none of it. Just Aspas now, and for him, sadly, wrong site. Couldn't have left anytime sooner. I had to stick around just in case, but as it stands, Plant gonna come in and Optic, five strong. And, and credit to just... The IGL here from FNS, reading that that Viper's bit is up, Victor immediately gets behind it. They can create so much pressure. I mean, Les is faced there with either letting it completely expire or challenging. And Victor's done so well, so well to remove that control early on. Aspas just now left to hold on to the Phantom. Like I said, this was a slight investment, but it's gonna be a big boom to the economy. Look at what's carried out of this round now, and they've had the upgrades. Still have the showstopper, which on a lesser purchase, again, you can almost throw in here, but key to bring back. And it's only two for Loud. Quick Optic, up, yeah. I, I think an opportunity to potentially apply a bit of pressure to the finances here as well. A slight force up. Away with Down. Some. Let's see what they go for. As it stands, is it that similar approach? Are they curious to see what the purchase is? Because again, you may not be certain to exactly what extent Loud are buying into this round with. I mean, I mean, since they pull Victor away from Hooker, they're applying a bit of pressure towards A site. Loud will have three here once okay. again. 
See this here, much earlier on. Information probes being sent out, the boom bot, the flash as well. Even to just plant the seeds and potentially keep those three loud members locked onto A site. A much quicker peel away from this setup out showers this time around. But Sassy with great reactive utility here. Nothing noted on short. No, nothing noted on either side of the map. They sent out the Prowler and the Flash and got nothing on either side. So, somebody's going to be kept guessing, noting that Optic will be playing with that, you know, slightly more tempered pace, sitting a little bit safer somewhere. And now with a lot of utility invested towards this B side, it feels so likely. So that post has got to be careful here. Actually, a trade-off of headshots, I think. I think we've seen this lineup before. Yep. Observers well and truly were ready for it. Um, so clearing site pretty comprehensively, but already going to allow you to know that it's probably sitting towards CT or elbow. Site itself should be clear. Now, Victor going to commit. Seekers, He's gone fully into this one. And you're absolutely right. Seekers setting it into motion. TP taken. Yeah, going to at least find one of them. And now three standing. Pancada, Les, and Sarsi, where are they? Two towards CT and one lingering around short. And that, go that goes less. They're really running out options here, and I think they want to keep these weapons. Yeah, they've got to settle for it here. It's another one loud. Have to watch past them by. Nothing left here. I mean, Aspas on 2300, but you see Sassy down on 100, Pancada on 50 credits, even with the light shield. Marv actually looking to apply a little bit of pressure here. We can already see Loud on the X-ray, though. Navigate their way towards holding onto these rifles. And you noted it. Great reactive utility from Sassy, and actually on both sides here. Perfect timing and optic explode behind that. Like I said, it, uh, they respect the showstopper. They back away all the way into yep. elbow, but like I said, the seekers aren't dealt with early enough. They have the perfect information so you can telling. see here on the minimap. Both of them indicating at the same time. Just literally gifting Victor at least one kill and a ton of damage onto the second. And the overspill almost negating the round completely at that point. It's like, well, might as well back from this. And you got to say it, you said this was a round where this could be very punishing towards Loud's economy. This could now start spiraling while well, we're seeing that here. Trade of blows at the very beginning. They're going to find Sassy. The fight back in on towards Marv, but apparently this all just going to power on through. FNS, first foot forward towards the side, and Pancada left in no man's land, but he makes it his own. Tries to find what? the fight and loses. Victor reigning supreme. The pawn going to come in, and this is just, you know, pacey. This is powerful. And the other two players are really considered. Quite quickly on the flank here. Yeah, actually, if they can keep four alive here, they can effectively buy out for the rest of the half. Eyes go towards Optic and how clean they can convert this post plant. A sheriff and a phantom to work with. So good utility available, but. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's a little bit of a can oh. opener there, isn't it? This is on the case. But there's, there's, not, there's not time. There, there just isn't time. You can see the setup. Unless sadly, we can try and hunt someone out here, but I think yeah, he's very much wise to him, <laughs> and he is. Yeah, you're not going to get the best of him in that. Optic, keeping three standing, still moving forward well enough to build up their funds here. They're starting to get towards you know, maxing out money to a degree, and yeah, 9k already on towards Marv. And it's time to pull the emergency brakes, right? Trying to get a little bit um, ahead of the curve here, maybe close out as best they can in this half here for loud, because sitting on two rounds is not enough. Now, we already noted this is setting up a bad map for them. This is where they best Optic before. But I think this is, one, an elevated optic, and two, Loud don't have that same impact this time. Yeah, the, the big difference is we're, we're seeing similar trends to what we saw on Ascent, right? Optic's decisiveness on the back of early round information, actually this previous, where Loud looked to take away that early showers control, right? It, it's a one for one. It, do, it doesn't really favor the defensive side at all in that regard, because Optic have the numbers behind that. They have the numbers behind that opening engagement yep. to just exploit it. So I'm really looking for now to kind of dial it back a little bit. And that's, that might sound crazy against a team like Optic, where they are sure. a very slow burn team. Sure. Particularly if you don't give them an opportunity, they will go hunting for it. But Loud have to slow the tempo a little bit. And I do wonder what they come up with. You can see them discussing options on the screen. It was like Sassy and uh, Salak there just having a little conversation back and forth about it. A um, couple more seconds to really mull it over, but got to say as well, no one really having that highlight game either for Loud, or at least in this map. No Nobody's having a chance impact. to. Not really. Fundamentally, Not really. Optic look world class right now. Yeah, it, extremely solid between Ye and Marv doing extremely well themselves. 11 kills apiece, but everyone's doing what they need to. It's not like one player is creating you all of your, your chances, but 
Yeah, as it stands loud, unable to really find the answer. So this timeout hopefully could be the catalyst to get back into this game. That's find maybe a little bit of room, right? A Do big something. adjustment here. That's actually the operator posted up okay. to enable Victor to take some of this control. Yeah, actually, previously, loud looked great for mitigating this, but yeah, he's creeping onto the angle. Oh, it. time looks different when he's playing. It does. It Seconds really just does. seem so much longer, and these players are so damn good. That's Aspas, by the way. The yay looked like he had an eternity to shoot towards. Now there could be problems, though. Got to be still in the nerves there. Could have been a punish on it, but no, they actually get to keep their lives. Didn't get to gap close in time for Sassy. Now you give Optic time to set up behind that first blood. You know what, going to be checked here. He hasn't okay. played this spot just yet. Crashes with no. the Trailblazer, though. That's what you got to hope for. And hello. Oh, dear. Not feeling good at that moment, are you? Still actually able to get one. So finding some value, even if not much. So we look to where this now swings, and it's back towards Sarsi. It's so early, though, that it's drawn the rotation, right? Pancada comes all the way across the board's to. A site. He has to, right? Sassy has to go huge here for now. The last bit man utility, standing. But they're going back towards A. Ooh. And now Pancada gets a shot at it. Maybe a chance to change the tone of this round across. Now the made strike spikes and the, on the and the molly as well. They have to go for this. And then Crashy's gonna get away with his life for 10 seconds now. 10 seconds He's left. gonna take some damage from this potentially. Let's see if the molly gets invested. No! Yay yeah, denies it! And now saves security for the plant. Nice Crashies gets set down and Sassy barely made it away from B site. I still had a move. He was so conscious of somebody being left in that lurk. Sure. Optic are playing so reactively right now. Loud can barely get a grip on when they should rotate because there's pressure on both sides and Optic's ability to see. How does he still find that? How does he actually adjust and find that kill? Like I said, Optic just running rings around Loud. They're hitting their stride here and I was worried that maybe the impact from game one could have had a negative effect. I feel as though if anything, it's just you turn the pace up, turn the heat up. And again, that yay, this opener. Saving this in case that maybe, you know, that Molly came in, denied the plan even further. There was so much potential danger, but as I said, navigating away from that. And once again, we're left at two rounds for Loud, and that's it. They've been held on two. The Stingers are coming out for Loud, though. Those are the best chances they've had. I uh, yeah, honestly. It looked like... Almost doing better with them than the rifles. Like I said, they just haven't had... Any opportunity to create advantages here. Loud have really been put on the back foot. You've got to give Optic credit in that regard. Oh, and the follow-up spam. spam. He reads it so well. Salek just getting punished now. First man found. There are two more to clear. Over towards Lamps, and Crash is already on the case with that. Does have a flash if he wants to really try and set something into motion, but... They're just holding. They're holding yeah. to see if anyone's dares to try it's and walk out from this. The same thing again. It's it's such a free first blood. The optic can just sit there and let it sweat for a second. Clearing showers, nothing there. You're starting to get a little paranoid. Where are they? Where are these people waiting? Because again, look towards Ye. He already kind of explored up short. He had a little look towards you know, Hooker. Nothing there. Now he's falling back with the rest of them. They've been working out mentally. They've got to be in some ratty corner, which is exactly where they are now. Ash has got another flash now, yeah. There he is. put FNS in. And it's a fake flash! Oh my god. They fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. Back's turned. <laughs> FNS with the freest kills left. of his life. Spike planted. Oh, Aspas and Sassy. Last have to try and game. recover anything they can. And now it's just one. Oh no. You got Ye on one side. Spamming through the wall! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, this is this is the Last round, man. This is the, the round. Half. The fake flash into the wall bang. Fair enough. Two to nine now. Um, An optic have just been uh, like like I said, so yeah. fundamentally solid. Yep. The look at the position they're in now for round look twelve. Thank Carla was waiting half a week to find that flash. Oh, didn't even, didn't we're even at one point six. Didn't even know you could hit that. Paper walls. Thanks for showing that, yay. Today, today I learned. Yeah, there we are. There's going to be an Odin there in every ranked game now. Brilliant. Just what none of us wanted. And we go. Not as much information as they'd like on this, but now the confidence brimming with Optic. An absolutely glorious half here. Even if you get through. Why did I even say it? Why did I think about it? The curse could come to life. But with the fundamentals being you you know, want to so play, gorgeous for Optic, play. really, really drilled.
Gotta feel this is the one for them. This map looking highly likely. Plenty of odds to invest as well for themselves here. Blinded. To wrap this one up with a bow, at least into the first half. Oh, considering committing. Well, actually curious as to the placement of this orbital strike is. Sassy and Pancado have backed away for Garden now towards Elbow. You see the ping coming through onto the TP. I don't know if they've misread this flash, but they're creeping back towards the triple stack of Loud. Trailblazer will find Sadak once again. And it's all a pump. They've left Jay, yeah. And, and look, this is just to punish the rotation. It's so smart. They show all of that leg. They get, you know, try and get all the attention towards A. Post Jay up into a two, just try and catch one of them. Now, fortunately enough, Pankata, he's diligent as hell. He did not fully cross, and they're holding the site right now. Seekers go in, they gotta try and crunch towards Elbow. They need some sort of control. You're gonna know, have the ult come in, try and secure CT, and Jay going for it again. Trying to find any wall he can, just to get the hell through. Nightfall comes in, and now Vision it's fine, but the audio cue is going to be limited. But Victor doesn't mind. Turns the flash just fine. Back to business. Back to back kills. And Aspas, the last man standing. Viper's pit in the way. Two holding the cross. There ain't no way out of here. He is surrounded. He is looking dead and buried. Down to 29 HP now. Yeah, he just posted on this angle. Would need nothing short of a miracle, but Optic happy to sit in this crossfire. Let this Optic down and Victor to deal the killing blow. A 10-2 half from Optic. Loud left struggling for answers here on map two of Bind. Again, it just comes through to <laughs> Mark and Ye. This had an insane half. A number of times, it, it's such tempered aggression yeah. at the right teams. Uh, Optic obviously being so versatile. Like I said, Loud just couldn't really set up for anything. And previously where they found success, where they found value in dealing with Victor. Yes, he's down at seven and seven, but it was it was absolutely absent here. You're right, and the flawless fundamentals hitting for Optic and to wrap up the first half here in map two is the analyst desk. Thank you very much, Pansy and Hypog. We needed Optic to come out looking convincing with all of the disadvantages in this best of five. Bren, how convinced do you think they look right now? I mean, I, this is <laughs> one of the most convincing openings you can have to a bind map. And I think it comes down to the fact that it looks like Optic are playing with war hacks out there. And I don't mean <laughs> that literally. I mean that they have done so much work on the defensive setups of uh, of Loud. They know exactly how they're holding at the right time. And this has manifested itself in this head-to-head -head matchup between the smoke players, between the controller players of Mard and Pankata. Mard is always going to be the guy who's going to be second in playing off the space that his team creates. And look at the difference in his scoreline. I mean, the guy was 14 and 9 in this map because his team have had such a good read, such a good idea of how they want to be taking and tackling the key areas of the map on bind on their attack side. I think looking forwards, though, you have to go and look back at what happened between Optic and Loud in the upper bracket. So the way that they played out that kind of round, when Loud went into the attack, here is footage from that upper final. And so much of it came down to this battle on short. They jiggle Ye off the angle, loud push forwards, huge amounts of utility to set people up. And then they're triple facing instead of getting into the site to punish all the defenders. Yeah, and I think that the executes have always been excellent for loud to shut down those star players. But in the first half, it was a different story of Optic. They had done their homework. The way that they were playing the mid round on that attack was impeccable. And I think that this team will come back in learning from their mistakes to be able to close out this map. You already have such a confident half built in. Your star players in Ye and Marv are performing at an incredible level. And for Loud, I guess the question is just how close can they push it? Well, let's see if they can do it as I hand this back over to your casters, Pansy and Hypok. And at 10 to 2, it feels like Optic have done enough. I feel like that's a fair assessment. Obviously, it is possible for Loud to be able to close in the scoreline a fair amount. There is those certain key rounds we look at, Mike. But uh, talk to me. Have you seen any glimmers of hope here in this map specifically for Loud? I'm going to be honest, there were so few, and it wasn't really yep. due to their own wrongdoings. Uh, uh, Optic played such a flawless setup, and like I said, it was versatile. They were already prepared for so many different things that just never came from now. There was ne there was never these crunches coming through that we had seen previously that found success. And early on, Jay and Marv, that's creeping all the way out here. Catch, less sleeping. Tuck him in, put him to bed. Spike will come through, but a man advantage here for Optic. 
And the post plant's going to be interesting. Do they try and fight back for shower control? I feel like you have to. You can't leave that unaccounted for. And doing it early enough should be quite indicative of this repositioning the timing towards it. So they've taken a fair amount of space, but they should be worried about short. Over push towards CT. And it pays. Gonna find FNS and Victor. Now you gotta worry about those other two that slipped the net over by shower. They've come back around on towards short and they wanna try and clear towards lamps. Already crash, he's gonna find Pancada, but the response is instantaneous. Now Martinier, not gonna make it happen this time. Loud, get things started. More frenzies, more fun, get the round, as Sliggy once told me. Said no one ever, actually. Sliggy says that all the time. You're not part of the slug club? That's crazy. I'm not part of the frenzy club, that's wow. for sure. Wow. That's just to put it in context here. Optic, a 63% defensive round win rate. Our champions here. They'll get themselves on the board. They definitely come into the stronger half. Mm. Yeah, actually going to put a light shield in here. See how aggressive he gets with this headhunter. We caught early on here, but Loud have to respect this. The dip away already. Rotate with the spike. Actually, Sadak posted up here. Giving Ye a chance at finding a kill, but will be deterred. Yeah, terrifying prospect is just re peaking the angle. He's still looking for the opportunity here, Ye. Looking towards short now. Could have a fight towards less, maybe? Put him back on through. Yeah, he's been pinged out, so you can already see the less did spot. Yeah, he's going to fall well, away Ye, from that. Yeah, pinged him as well, so. Yeah. And it's actually a misread of information. They're going to now rotate behind yeah, it and look absolutely. at the spike. Absolutely. They've already sent their way back through cave as well. Leaving B site wide open. Can't blame Optic for this. They've no, you have to almost overreact here. Yeah. Be very difficult to find their way back on here. Only Classics, the headhunter, to work with. Not even Optic just brawl for Hookah here. Very good read for Loud, though. Not giving anything away. Oh, that's Less. Really getting overwhelmed there. Yeah, just needs to keep his life. Dip away, get the heal. Because Optic are just ravenous for it. They're just, just roaming around as a pack. See if they could find anyone slightly out of position. And as it stands, Loud aren't really giving them that chance at all. Sitting super deep. Going to make them work for their dinner if they want it. I think Optic conscious of denying some old progress here. Ultimately here, this is preventing five orbs to come across. Ooh. The nade is nearly perfectly timed, but couldn't get ahead of him. Yeah, he'll find something in spawn here. So that's it. He wants to come back through and yeah, there's yeah. less to find it. But denying some yeah. early old progress here. Stealing that away from Loud. We'll have to come back in with the rifles. Light shield for Ye. The only real gap in this purchase due to the Light shield in the previous. Now do we see Optic slip back into this more receptive style on defense. We do absorb some of these sight hits, force loud to dig a little deeper. I would like to see a conversion of the bonus here. Really put the fire under Optic now, make him sweat a little bit, because that is when it gets to uh, crunch time. If loud can actually convert the bonus now, all goes up. Yeah, you gonna stick around on the fight. Didn't dip away on the first try. Less desperate to try and get behind that Prowler, but this is the second time he's fallen first. Removing that second controller from this composition. Actually, removing a lot of that short control on the back of just that wall. Early flash comes through. Crashes will note presence. Left nest on the other side of things as well, so they're going to know that they've drifted away from A here. And yeah, he's going to get played in a little on this one. Cut beneath window. Crowler actually, yeah, actually notices him. Fantastic work. The pop flash is beautiful. And the combination on this from Loud is just stunning. Brilliant synergy on this lovely utility work. And Pancada firing on all cylinders here. Takes out FNS, controls elbow. That is now a secured site. There's no way back through for Victor or Marv. It's another scenario as well where they flip a 4v5. Loud come through, and this has got to be read by Optic, right? On the back of this, with less falling, there's, there's there's no real threat towards short. And with a trap outside showers, especially with that early information, crashes flashing through hookah, FNS 
Seeing that Trailblazer. He said it. I'm going to convert this bonus. Game back on. This is where it gets interesting. This is where we start talking about those key rounds, Mike. The ones that, you know, financially and depending on the economy can really have that knock-on effect. It will be slightly off kilter with Victor and Marv bringing through rifles if they can yep. get anything done here. And that's not loud. Choose to reinvest. Optic actually going to call a timeout as well. But ZFNS is desperate to try and get something back in ahead of the spike plant coming through. But he's punished Mankata. Doing really well with the Bulldog there. So, timeout now called. Chet and Optic feeling now's the time. Oh, who are these people? Huh. Do you recognize some of them? Oh, that's the guy who missed, uh, it was like a 2v1, a famous one, I think. Yeah, I think that's Paula from Fortnite. That's crazy. That's crazy, wow. <laughs> I like this crowd. Look at them. Signs have been good so far. Um, but quite genuinely, this is now not not panic station yet in my mind at all. There's still some no, no, far from it. Plenty of rounds to play with. You know, the converting of the bonus is the first like, I guess potentially a forecasted closer game. Yeah. Right, like that's when you're like, okay, they've won pistol, they converted bonus. That's when you start going right. The scoreline will get closer. We're not into the meat of the gun rounds yet though. Well, that's the thing though. With loud converting the bonus, that gives them the buffer to potentially, I mean, to come through and win this clean. It then puts them in a position to play some more scrappy rounds, go for these, you know, mm -hmm. heavy invested, almost death ball kind of executes. Yep. Not overly reliant on utility, on getting in, just those raw gunfires, which now they're fantastic at executing. As I said, Marv and Victor will bring a rifle in here. I don't think either of them conceded any damage, so should be a full shield as well. Mm -hmm. Again, the next fire round is where you do start getting concerned. That'll be loud, bringing it back, resetting the economy, and bring it basically within three rounds. Oh, then, uh, then call it's it, call it two. Yeah, that's 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 a whole different scenario, but we wait. And initially, last time around with this, that's got punished by Yay. FNS can take it a little bit lower, lingering around these walls, but it'll be fine. I'm just gonna dip back towards the lamps now. Again, we've seen these defaults being held. Nothing too much of a worry yet. I do see the commitment towards Hooker, though. I've just watched this as well. FNS and Les just facing off in terms of the toxic cooldown. <laughs> you can see it's just back and forth here. And Les is being given no control. I was talking about previously how important it is that he dies early. But here, at least the pump has caused FNS to play a little deeper here was now they're stacked up on this now yeah, and, and sadly for the two players the optic on this site they're the ones that only have the frenzy uh, a sheriff it's far from ideal and they're gonna try and step a little deeper towards ct uh, uh yeah he's stacked up on this was oh, oh but, my god oh, how is he alive Ash Bash flies out of there and yeah he's just baffled dazed and confused but victor's got sadak the spike's not planted this fight's on multiple fronts but it ain't over yet we're not out of the wilderness as now it's just Aspers. Tell me how Optic of three alive with rifles now. And I'll tell you, none of us saw it at the start of this round. Aspers though, good for one. Oh my god. One for two. And now just the 1v1. And the correct guess. Victor, none the wiser, forced to pull the trigger. Oh, Aspers, the unthinkable again. The 1v3 in the final seconds. How has he turned that back around? He shouldn't have. I mean, you think there, it's like, yeah, yeah, he could have killed him earlier in the round, but he's done enough damage. He was 35 HP. He was the walking wounded. Look at this. Easiest kill of Ye's life. Guess not. Oh. Oh, he slipped the net. Don't worry, we've got this three on the site. So he gets the kill onto Marved as well with the reset on the jump. And Victor swings. I think the paranoia is there from the paint shield, but. All the damage was already done. Victor swings ahead of the box. What a ridiculous red ball clutch from Aspas. Well, we have a treat. Folks. <laughs> a technical pause uh, coming in. We'll update you when we know anything about it. Um, hopefully, it's just quickly resolved and we move through. Um,
Not, not where I'd want to dwell, if I'm honest. No. Not the sort of round I'd want to be thinking about losing that scenario after turning the tide, right? You come into that with, I think it was what, a, a bits and pieces, the two players on the side, it was f and It was actually Mar a... Marv and Victor brought rifles into that. That was That it. was saved from the previous. Absolutely. I didn't know any pistols or anything like that. Obviously, yeah, with the headhunter, don't really want to talk about it again. But frenzy. That's it. Yeah. So again, pretty light. Pretty light. Still a bit of danger, absolutely, but they were going towards a site that did not... <laughs> oh, green pants. Anyway, uh, again, they did not have what they needed to to hold that side back. Somehow they still did the damage. You had then Ye in the perfect position to punish this TP being taken. You think it's all lining up, right? And then somehow, somehow it crumbles. And then, don't worry, we've got three players in a post pawn on the site. Easy. Yeah. Oh, we're fine. Apparently not. And now we're sat here thinking about it. Uh, I mean, I can't believe what I just saw. I, Honestly, to, to give Aspas the first, potentially the second on that short challenge, it puts Victor in a really rough spot. Yeah. Because uh, even, and again, you never think about these things on the fly, but he gets both kills and gets the paint shot back, which applies even more pressure to Victor. Yeah. Like I said, he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Well, between triple and a paint shell. That's actually mad. And I was thinking about actually previously, they come back in on this buy round and this is where it's concerning. They win this. They get given the seventh. Optic now. I mean, after the purchase here from Crashies, they're going to have under a thousand credits total coming away from round 17. And then you get scared because oh, Loud oh, should I, then find the eighth. I'm, I'm already seeing the scoreline being closed. I'm going to be honest. I'm seeing this getting, you know, the the bit, the bit where I stop paying attention like eight to ten. I'm like, oh, okay, two away. That's that's easy to close. And they just got away with one that they, by all rights, shouldn't have had. I am oh, seeing yeah. the purchase come through for Crashy, so not sure, actually, if the tech issue has been solved. It would seem that Crashy's was the one <laughs> we were waiting on. Where are the light-up glasses? Is Kanyang out there today? Uh, seen the I haven't seen them. Might have, you know, might have had a couple uh, tipples last night, maybe. You know? That's unlike him. I know. That's a one-off. Um, still no updates. Uh, it was just gear, apparently, nice and uh, generic. We love that. Um, we can hazard guesses. Just make it up. Who knows? Could be fun. Um, there is actually plenty to be talking about in this game, though. We can talk about what we've seen so far. And individually, once it, you know, rolling it back. Um, haven't seen many standouts from that, even with that, you know, round in hand that we just saw from Aspas, right? Individual impact, incredible. I mean, but came out of the first half and it, it was one of the cleanest scoreboards you'd ever see. It was like Correct. everybody was five and ten. It was yep. literally five and ten. That's it. Across the entirety. So, yeah, this is the point now. I mean, four unanswered rounds. Mm -hmm. If a couple of these now players do start heating up, I mean, it's Aspas and Sadak really to get ahead of the curve from that first half. But, but what a round to potentially instigate further impact. Six to ten now, Optic, you thought they'd had enough. You thought this was good enough to go and then you just had one of those rounds. Yeah, you're starting to push up a little though. Yeah, trying to, I mean, another tool to try and disrupt Les's control there. on short here. Actually, the Prowler might Toss even bring him out. Yeah, he's a million miles away from his TP, but he's actually using the wall to his advantage. Oh, oh and he suddenly turns back. A one for one trade out and a Terrifying surprise for both sides. But he's going to have spotted at least two more, two more players there. So with the three players behind them on the A side, they're feeling a little bit more secure in this if Loud carry on this way. But there's every chance they could potentially turn their heads the other. 50 seconds, still yeah. a little to play with. Crashy. What a rotation, though. Seeker's coming in. Now, this might stop them in their tracks. They may not hit this rotation button any further. No, they're still sticking around here. And now the commitment comes in from Loud. Straight towards the side they go. Seeker's back on the other side. Going to spot two players. Crashy's peels away, respecting it, but what? no respect on the way back in. Sadak deleted. Less finds a trade. Crashy's on a heater right now. Literally. pancarlo has got him. And now it's just Pancarlo surrounded, but reached the flank. Did he consider Victor's positioning? He's looking the right way. And it's absolutely not the right time this time. Victor's got it. Making up for those moments before. His head back in the game here. And that'll be 11 for Optic. And thank God for that. Optic stepping a little closer to map point now. We're forced to repurchase, but with that early 
String of rounds, no louds. Gonna be in a very comfortable position. How Crashy gets that kill is ridiculous. This is beautiful though. Come through, actually the second headshot coming on as well. Aspas on that showstopper though. Now I'm gonna call a timeout here. Okay. Couple of ultimates available. Off to go on the other side of things. Tour de Force available for Ye. That should hopefully give them a bit of a bump in the finances. I mean, otherwise it's looking like the Spectre and the Guardian still would it, this, drag this Yeah, down. yeah. Uh, I mean, it's tough because they actually come into this now. You can see them reconsidering the purchase throughout this timeout, but see something weird. Picard has got an operator in his hand. Right. Which would lean towards, you know, potentially this next round slowing down just a little bit on the outside at least. And Optic have shown a number of different approaches towards less. I mean, previously it was FNS just literally mirror matching that utility to prevent any progress, not allowing less to really lurk up short. Then we see Ye sent forwards to try and just, you know, dry challenge. Like I said, a million miles away from his TP, it's almost committing to the one and done, but the expectation being it's just less on the other side of this. So Optic are trying to take away this early control. I'm going to start learning more and more about it, at the very least, with these sort of attempted moves, be it, you know, full success or not. At least you get to paint the bigger picture of it. Let's see what the buy does end up being. Okay, it is going to be the Tour de Force and what we kind of saw. And that um, operator for Pancada. That's still He's posted really long. He's literally posted behind Fountain. Maybe wanting the challenge so they know the Tour de Force is there. Well, they note it very early on. Mm. So they know Ye is now playing towards b side. Do they read towards this just being... The two-man hold. This is where you really start looking towards the tools they have to pressure Ye even deeper. Well, off some of these angles, Sadak overwhelmed though. The double swing on showers comes through at the perfect time. And Ye's not necessarily backing from this. Finally, he's gonna dip out and look towards long. This is where we do see if Pancada does succeed. This has all been building towards this, but Ye is quick as all hell. <laughs> Crowd's behind it. You know, there's a chance of it. Ready. And while all this happens, so many players done their pressure through Hook. The timing! Yay! Just about swings around in time. They exchange information, but they both get to keep their lives. But look at the teammates falling like flies around them. Pancada only has Sassy by his side now, and Yay repositions deeper on the angle. This battle is fine for Optic because they've got others left. standing. That spike is still left in the hands of Sassy. Where does he yeah. go with this double up on long? Try and run away elsewhere. You've got 20 seconds. I mean, Pancada just can't swing this. He can't. To know that the rotation's come through already, Ye's already posted on a deep angle. You've got to assume there's going to be another stacked up. No, not two! You almost Five felt it was fated, deep. but now the slow Ten to make things left. worse. Eight seconds. The spike now fall in Pancada's hand, but it's all been given up. This concept, this theory did not work out at all for Loud. Pancada not getting what he wanted that time. And again, Ye, the discipline here, it, he's, he's always on. And just like that, Optic map find point. map point. And they strip away this huge advantage Loud have, or had, sorry, mm. from those four unanswered rounds. And they were clean. Roll your mind back. They were clean. They were keeping a lot of those weapons available for the next rounds that followed. Operator still here, but it's two Bulldogs to round this out. The Viper's Pit, the Orbital Strike, Sassy one away from the Nightfall. The Optic have really slowed things down now. Don't get in my way. Yeah, and Loud have to dance their tune as it stands. Already you're going to have that Viper's Pit so to much deny info long. that Trailblazer. And yeah, he's up close to this. How long does he stick with this angle? That is going to play And actually doesn't get away. Punished quickly in the side, looking a little bit more vulnerable. They're going to flood on forward. Yeah. Marv there, though, connects with the first. Dips away yeah, slightly further. Sits deeper towards Shower just to keep his life. Keep that space! Pancada plucking Victor out of the air. Crashies diving in towards the side. You're going to see the Vipers on the other side. Now invested towards the side. For the timing. Oh, he's got a shot in it. He's got his ult. The bullet goes astray. And you're absolutely right. Mark does have his ult. He's going to invest in. And it's just pandemonium. FNS going to find Aspas trying to back away. But the 2v2. The plant's going to come. He's got to know. Five it's been planted. adjusted. FNS has seen him. He's seen everything with this. And Marved again from the shadows. This man is always behind him. He's got another. And now the one man in the ult. That is it. Less to try and turn the tides.
and he's been fouled. FNS has him. Optic have actually got us to finals now. One apiece, the best of five is back on. 13 to six, Mike.